Hello everyone, I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and welcome to day six of our Blind Buy First Impressions. You know, most of my life I've really enjoyed, even as a toddler, growing into my teens, into an adult, playing PC adventure games, and that are the, the point and click type of adventure games. Uh, notable companies that created those were Sierra Online, LucasArts, and you might remember titles such as Steven Spielberg's The Dig, there was Grim Fandango, and I even pushed myself to play through Mist. To me, I always enjoyed the third person because you could see your character moving and you could kind of experience things voyeuristically uh, through their eyes, and that was my favorite POV or, or point of view. At any rate, later in life, I found a website run by a, a very nice gentleman named Merrick Bronstring, and that was adventuregamers.com, and what they did is they wrote, they published reviews about adventure games, talked about upcoming games, did interviews with publishers and developers, and I even began writing articles for the website and doing the reviews. And that prompted me to create my very first long-lasting moniker for email and Gmail, and that is my initials, TWK, the word adventures, so TWK adventure. And I still have that email to this day, which I'm not sure why, because it's just full of spam, but I still, you know, I can't bring myself to get rid of it. But I've always really enjoyed the whole idea of, of adventure games. It's like living a book. It's like living a movie. Only you control your character, what your character does, and you experience firsthand what your character does, the reactions in the world, the game world, that the developers have created for you to enjoy. And I really love that idea because it most similarly mirrors real life. There's just something about that word adventure that grabs and captures the imagination. So it's not without good reason that the fragrance house Davidoff has created their very own fragrance called Adventure. Perfumer Antoine Lai created this fragrance and it was launched back in 2008. In fact, the face of the advertising campaign was Ewan McGregor. Ewan McGregor himself, a real life adventurer, said he had a special connection between the fragrance and what it represented because he is a motorcycling enthusiast and the actual ad campaign, it shows Ewan on a motorcycle traveling through a mostly undiscovered dense Brazilian forest, spending nights in the exotic but always free Sands Continental Breakfast Starlight Hotel with nothing but his backpack, his motorcycle, and his sense of adventure. Welcome back guys. As mentioned, Davidoff Adventure was created by Antoine Lai and released, he, Antoine being a Javadin perfumer, was released in 2008. I have no clue as to the public's reaction to this fragrance, therefore it is a complete blind buy, flying blind as it were. So we're gonna experience Davidoff Adventure together and that's gonna be our own little adventure today on day six of our blind buy week, first impressions week. Davidoff Adventure embodies the adventurous spirit of man. Antoine Lai, when you created this, had in mind the untamed portions of nature and that's always kind of a significant point of imagination for man. It's like bottom of the ocean, are there several abyss or abyss eye, however you say it, that we have yet to explore. Uh, the sea of tranquility on the moon is, is unexplored. There are forests out there that may contain species of animals or insects that we don't even know about. So it was that portion of untamed nature that he had in mind when he created adventure. So this embodies the sense of adventure in all of us to discover and try new things. And that's what we're doing today. We're discovering and trying a fragrance that, although not new to the market, is new to me, possibly new to you. So let's get right into it and see what the bottle looks like, see what the presentation is like, and then we'll try out that juice on tester strip and skin as we have a want to do. You know that phrase, um, untamed nature, it makes me think of one of my favorite movies, Will Smith's I Am Legend. And you remember when the camera pulled back and and kind of panned over post-apocalyptic New York City and all the buildings were crumbling and they had like growth, undergrowth sprouting up through the concrete. Their wildlife scattered throughout the city. In fact, one of the most awesome scenes in the very beginning is, is that herd, antelope or deer, whatever it was in the very beginning, just showing that New York City, once a thriving metropolis of humankind, now is bereft of humans and animals have taken over the vegetation has taken over. It is now back to what it was pre-civilization, untamed. So that word adventure makes me think of that movie 
You may have your own ideas when you think of the word adventure. Let's see if the fragrance can live up to it. Now that's a lot of hype I know I've just given you, but certainly don't expect this to be, whoa, just, you know, how our reactions to those kind of things. But as long as the fragrance gives us kind of that sense of adventure, it's a great starting off point. So let's give it a shot. When I was a kid, I also read a Marvel comic that was called What If? And what, what if was about was it put together situations and people that would normally not be put together kind of see what happens kind of like putting a spider and a scorpion in a jar shaking it up and seeing what happens that is the premise of what if so as you can see the so cellophane is off the box itself has kind of a leather like like it kind of like a faux leather tactile feel and you've got this bright orange stitching around it, David off in white, adventure in orange as a contrast. This is an eau de toilette, 100 ml bottle. Nothing on either side of the box. On the very top of the box, you've got the David off logo, if you can see that. And on the very bottom, the SKU along with the batch code. All that's still long enough for you to capture that if you need to. Getting straight into the bottle, maintains that, that nice brown kind of emblematic theme. Brown being representative of untamed nature. The bottle itself is extremely pleasant, A plus on presentation. So you've got the contrast, maybe this is civilization, this being untamed nature. So you've got the silver and then you've got the, the glass, the clear glass with the juice being a little bit of a, I don't want to say a little bit of an orange. Kind of actually does match the color of the adventure. So that's kind of neat there, but as you can see, I'll bring it closer. So Davidoff on the top, the silver, and Adventure on the bottle itself. The lid itself pops right off. Nothing on doing on the top of the lid. On the very bottom, you've got a sticker with the batch code there. Some additional product information. Now, I really like the presentation, but it's nothing to write home about in terms of quality. The lid itself is relatively cheap, very, very light, but it does snap really well on the bottle itself. So Davidoff, of course, really good quality house, but they keep the costs down for the average person. So this would be, I would say, the average person who wants to experience some adventure in their life. Let's see what the juice is like. Get the tester strip there, thank you. Take the cap off. All right, let's get our, let's prime our pump. One, two, three. Decent, decent atomizer. One more for good measure. And let's see what that's like. Okay, being made in 2008, I often think that late 90s, early 2000s, I always feel like a fragrance is gonna date itself. But this is right around the time where certain notes such as bergamot, some floral notes, amber, ambroxan, were being a little bit more introduced into men's fragrance. And this definitely has a sense of a little bit more modern twist rather than the, the more uh, darker or oak moss or kind of aftershavey shower jelly type fragrances, soapy, sudsy fragrances that were pre-2000s. Okay, as anticipated, it is very fresh, very bright, immediately woodsy right off the bat, and I do like that. So immediately you get a sense of that wood. There's a little bit of spice there. It is a little bit subtle. There's something in there that I really like that's causing it to lift off the tester strip. So there are several notes that are very well known for lifting the fragrance off your skin or off a tester strip, making it a little bit more accessible to your nose. Ginger is one of those. Juniper berries is another. Freesia, some others that when they meld together, blend together, make the fragrance lift. That's what this is doing. There's something about this that I really, really like. I can't decipher it with my nose, so we're gonna have to look a little bit deeper, do our own research. So let's take a look at the notes and see what, other than our own sense of adventure, let's see what the notes are in adventure. So let's take a look at that note breakdown. This fragrance starts off with sweet and fresh notes of mandarin orange, bergamot, and sparkling lemon followed closely by a mid of green tea and black pepper. Black pepper is what's giving that, that spicy note that helps it lift off the skin as well. Seeds of black pepper and South American pimento dominate the heart of the fragrance, and the base is made of Peruvian cedar, light vetiver, and musk. So quite a bit went into making this, and I, and I love all of those notes. All of those notes are slightly exotic and yet very rich, fresh and woody and that's the kind of sensation that you get now i'm going to spray this on my skin right out of the bottle you get a sense of to there you get a sense of this rich and yet fresh so richness can be cloying or overbearing this is not like that it's not a heavy-handed rich it is a very light refreshing rich 
but rich is almost like a promise of more to come. So that rich leads into a very woody, a very exotic and yet familiar base. So I think a really, really well blend thus far. So let's give it a shot on skin. It's almost like the, the lemon, the pimento and the black pepper and sesame give it that zest. It's almost like, you know how certain fragrances that you smell are automatically aquatic and, and semi-Mediterranean to your nose? Creates images of, of boats and people in the water and sunshine. This creates imagery of like a dense Brazilian jungle. That's why having that commercial film there was such a masterstroke because it really is appropriate and representative of what the fragrance smells like and some of the fragrance, some of the actual notes come from like the Peruvian cedar, uh, you got South American pimento, come from the, the actual area that is represented in the commercial. So far, this is not my absolute favorite of the blind buys that I've done throughout this week. Uh, I really do like it. Davidoff Adventure has something in mind that it sets out to do. It wants to be bold, it wants to be spirited, yet I think it ends up being a little bit less. It's almost like um, a missed opportunity. Now, I'm not saying that I don't like this fragrance. I actually do, I do, I really I like it, I really enjoy it. But if you're gonna bandy about words such as uh, excitement or adventure, then you might wanna put something in it that's gonna just cause people to, to open their eyes and go, wow. You don't really get a sense of wow, and this isn't really wowing me. It is a very nice, very safe, very fresh, possibly even compliment getting, but it's more like a, a fragrance that you would put on for a daytime casual wear, heading to the office, uh, heading to run errands, going to maybe meet some friends, but I wouldn't even say this would be something you would wear to want to like hang out with friends. I'm very much a motorcycling enthusiast and I have been all my life. The first fragrance that I would think of before I get on jump on a motorcycle wouldn't necessarily be Davidoff's Adventure because it doesn't to me capture what it really wants to capture, that sense of adventure. So I'm not saying this is a miss. It does do what it does relatively well. It fulfills a need. But I think that Antoine, when creating this, played it more safe, uh, that he did have a sense of adventure, a sense of spirit. Like there are fragrances, even like the opening of Radiant Bergamot, the opening of Versace Pour Homme, had more of a sense of adventure in them than the opening of Davidoff Adventure. So I'm a little let down. Yeah, I didn't really have any expectations that I developed with this, but the fragrance is nice. The notes, they work well together. In that fragrance sandbox, they're all working well together. There's no fragrant disparities there. There's not anything off-putting, but there's also not really a sense of adventure that what this is trying to to go for so while i do think it does fulfill a specific need not necessarily the one that it set out to fulfill and that's going to wrap up day six of blind buy first impressions week thank you so much for tuning in and checking out my basic review of davidoff adventure with the subject of longevity and the subject of projection it's also going to be right on the cusp of average to below average. So this is projecting off my skin fairly well. I think for the first 45 minutes, you're gonna get a pretty decent projection out of this. Longevity, I can't really speak to. I'm not gonna say that it's gonna be bad. I'm not gonna say that it's gonna be great, but my personal current feelings based on Based on how it smells now, I would say this fragrance isn't gonna last like a good 12 hours, 10 hours. I would say it will be somewhere within the five to six hour range. So again, right on average for a modern fragrance. Is it a good blind buy? I don't know, this one, I, I can't answer that question, obviously, only you can answer that, but for this, the price is really good. I would say if you spent the amount of money that you're gonna spend on a 100 ml bottle of this, you can't really complain. It is a good, safe buy. Uh, it is very fresh, it is very woody, it is a very, very nice, very pleasant fragrance, but there's not really anything exciting about it. There's not really anything adventurous about it. I was expecting a little bit more adventure in the bottle than what's here. This is just like a safe, nice, daytime, casual, office wear, gentleman's fragrance. It is a spring and summer fragrance. However, the woods portion of the fragrance does give you a little bit more versatility for wearing into the fall. So you can spring, summer, a little bit fall, but definitely not a cold weather fragrance at all. It would fall out in cold weather. Stay tuned for tomorrow, day seven of our Blind Buy First Impressions week. And of course, right after this video, stay tuned for the supplemental information as well if you'd be interested in seeing that. Again, thank you so much for your support. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you in the morning.
Hey guys, Tommy with Studio Sins. Welcome to my supplemental information. In other words, the video after the video. Now I'm not saying that Davidoff Adventure was an extreme letdown to me, but it was a little bit of a letdown. Whenever something uses the word, uh, or uses a word that I have a fond association of many different memories and many different experiences with, I have an expectation of that word being used to its fullest potential, or at least to a little bit of its potential. And I don't think that Davidoff did that with Davidoff Adventure. I think it's a missed opportunity. There could have been so many different ways they could have taken this fragrance to be adventurous or to embody that adventurous spirit that adventurous spirit that we all strive to have or that we all naturally have. I mean, they could have taken that South American pimento and beefed it up a little bit. They could have taken the the lemon or there are a couple of other notes in here that I don't think were used to their fullest potential. Now the black peppers is appropriate. Black peppers in a lot of fragrances, it helps lift off the skin. It helps give it that embody a little bit of a spicy sensation. So that is there. The woods, I do think the woods are used appropriately in this. I really do. That's probably my mo most enjoyable part of this fragrance position or its profile, its DNA, is the, the woody kind of like the pimento wood. It just sits there. It grounds the fragrance. It does give it a sense of gentlemanly, you know, deportment, but a gentlemanly deportment isn't necessarily an adventurous spirit, all right? So that's not really what I was expecting out of this. So I'm not saying it is a complete letdown. I'm not saying don't buy it, but when you buy it, make sure that you go into purchasing this knowing that it's not going to make your mind or your nose wake up and suddenly want to go out and, you know, skydive or, or something of that nature, bungee jump. So adventure, you know, they may have a, they being the perfumer and Davidoff may have a different idea of what adventure means, but it's definitely not necessarily encapsulated in that fragrance. So that's kind of my summarization of my experience with this. Now, giving it time to dry down i will say that the most enjoyable part of this fragrance isn't the open it's actually the dry down and that's good news because the dry down is the life of the fragrance the dry down is the true dna of any fragrance so am i glad that i purchased this and blind bought this you bet absolutely very happy with with this fragrance i feel like i'm going to wear this and i'm going to try it out i'm probably going to grow on me a little bit and slowly i'll get back a little bit of that what i feel was lost in terms of opportunity for adventure it's never going to be what i thought it you know was going to be or want it to be but i will enjoy it i will enjoy wearing it for the price that you pay for this you really can't complain it is an incredible cheapie so it's pretty awesome there and davidoff has is well known for creating some really good cheapies, but not necessarily something that's going to be, it's going to be relatively average to poor on performance. And this isn't really a great performer, at least in my experience so far. Now, if that changes, I'll let you know on day seven, but so far it's just okay. So that's it for my encapsulation or behind the scenes video. Thank you so much for joining in again, as always, please be safe, stay home, have fun, and be good, and I will see you in the morning.